Item number, SCP-779. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-779 is currently contained in site in SCP-779 specimens are to be contained in a 6 meter by 6 meter chamber with no furniture. All personnel entering SCP-779's containment chamber are to wear hazmat suits. Hazmat suits are to be checked for ruptures before and after entering the containment chamber. In the event of a suit breach, compromised personnel are to be removed from the area and detained for 24 hours. SCP-779 is to be provided with one liter of milk each day. Description SCP-779 is a species of insect, similar in appearance to the common bee or a wasp. Specimens of SCP-779 are typically colored red and black, although variations in this have been noted among their populace. SCP-779 usually breed and live in human residences, but sightings of SCP-779 have been reported at rivers and lakes, suggesting the possible existence of a subspecies. SCP-779 operates with a typical social system. A queen is always present in the center of the nest and reproduces constantly, while workers retrieve food for the rest of the hive by stealing from the residents. SCP-779 queens are recognizable by the distinctive yellow spot present on their backs. SCP-779 nests are usually formed from whatever materials are available in a section of the human residence with little traffic, such as an attic or basement. SCP-779 have been observed to operate at all times of the day. When a nest has been formed, Specimens of SCP-779 will attempt to sting residents, injecting them with their hallucinogenic venom. After this initial injection, SCP-779 will sting their victims at least once per day to keep the venom in their system. When injected with the venom, victims of SCP-779 will perceive SCP-779 as small humanoid figures with wings and believe that SCP-779 are assisting with the maintenance of the residents. Victims will continue to believe this even if the residents undergo structural collapse. Continued exposure to SCP-779's venom can result in victims viewing them as their children and defending them from most threats. SCP-779 appears to only sting humans and will not undergo this parasitic relationship with other species. SCP-779 will consume most edible substances with a particular affinity to milk. Consumption of milk seems to be remedial to SCP-779. Injuries such as torn wings and missing legs have been observed to heal in a matter of hours after consumption. Victims of SCP-779 will usually give most of their food to SCP-779, but will not allow themselves to succumb to malnutrition. SCP-779 can exist in symbiosis with their victims for months or years until the victim is cut off from the supply of venom. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-778, Paradise Falls, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.